Hey guys, we take your Hill. So this is day three of the uh, floor acid wash, acid, acid stain. Uh, now I'm gonna wash it. I, I did two coats of the acid uh, stain. Uh, it browns out. It looks real light. It's really tanny looking right now. But once you wet it, that's gonna be the look uh, that's gonna be once you do the clear coat. And so far, I really like it. It's not as dark as our other house. Uh, we did the same uh, stain. Of course, different concrete, so you get a different result. Anyway, uh, put baking soda mixed in with the water. We're gonna put that on the floor, move it around with the broom, and then suck it up with the shop vac. And I got a hose up here as well to, to give, give it a hand with a little more water. Anyway, I did a, some cleanup earlier this morning. It was a pain in the butt. Um, I lined all the baseboard areas with paint, uh, paper, uh, protection. And notice when I was spraying the first day, I was spraying the, the acid, uh, acid stain. It started dripping from the paper. I didn't like that, so I actually took it off, and I did get a teeny bit of overspray on the baseboard area of the walls. So I cleaned all that off, neutralized it with a bucket of water, a little baking soda, and uh, then we're gonna have to do a little paint touch up where the baseboards are, pretty much all the walls. So, you know, it is what it is. I would have either had big drips from the paper or a little bit of paint redo, so I'm not sure which was worse, <laughs> but that's what I did. I took all the paper out uh, before I did the second coat of the acid stain. Anyway, I'm going to flip over to time lapse again and uh, have some fun. It's uh, June 23rd, by the way. So here we go. We're uh, starting to clean up. Uh, we're going to basically spray water all over the place um, and use baking soda to neutralize the acid. Uh, they call for one to two tablespoons per gallon. Um, I bought a 12 pound bag at Home Depot uh, and mixed it kind of like a little bit on the on the fly, probably a little bit more baking soda than normal. But uh, in any case, you want to put it in there, neutralize the acid, and then suck it up with the, uh, the water. Um, you do have to put enough water on the floor to be able to get the residue of the baking soda up. Um, otherwise, you'll, you'll get uh, kind of like a, a, a sh uh, residue left over, um, and you know you didn't, didn't do enough water. So um, basically, if you put enough water on the beginning, then I dumped the bucket down. You'll see that in a second here. So I walk around the room kind of like just dumping. Uh, the, the video actually went by so fast, you didn't see me walk around the, uh, the perimeter of the, the room and, and dump the baking soda out, uh, the mix. Um, and then I scrub it with the brush and then I uh, uh, add more water so I can get all the residue and all the junk off the floor. Um, and that chop back worked really good. That's a uh, rigid 12 gallon, that's five horsepower. It's the same, same strength as all the other ones, but it just works better. It's got uh, positive ridges on the hoses and the attachments. So they, they don't come off um, and it has good uh, that you see that wand right there so it's, it's sucking up really really nice it took very little time to do it it took probably half half to a third of the time that uh, our old chop back took so and it sucked up the water really well so very impressed but here you see me doing uh, the back back part of the uh, the game room um, mix up the uh, the batch baking soda and water uh, five gallons I fill it up to the brim um, and then I just dump a bunch of water perimeter to the inside and you can see it's pretty flat there I mean it's uh, doesn't doesn't run off anywhere um, but the, there I'm doing the brushing so I can mix up the baking soda solution everywhere um, and then I add more water um, just so I can uh, suck it up properly and not have any of the residue left over so it's a pretty pretty simple process um, still took five hours to do the entire house uh, you know I was, I was moving okay uh, before you know it, it's uh, five, five o'clock, six o'clock, and we were done. <laughs> so that's the way it went. But anyway, uh, you can see how fast it works. Um, it, was, it was pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Um, just it's part of the process. Just got to do it. So I didn't care about little little puddles here and there. Um, as long as you suck up the main part with the uh, the baking soda residue, uh, so you don't leave any residue. Um, everything's good. So here you see uh, this. Here's the uh, another look on how I did the. Uh, the, the spraying you can see I spray water from the outside wall, the walls to the inside uh, then I pour the solution out you can see that in a second um, yep more water then I the video went by too fast but anyway then I spread it around and then I suck it up so in all respects there each room took um, you know half an hour ish um, but uh, you know some had I put a little more water here and there but uh, all straightforward. So I, I, I do. Uh, I try to suck up all the water from the walls first, just so they don't it doesn't sit there with two bodies. Um, I didn't worry about the drywall sucking anything up because the water's not sitting there. 
um, and the paint actually repels water so um, it was pretty straightforward just spraying the walls no big deal uh, as long as you didn't have posts soaking up into the drywall that's why they actually make the drywall roughly a quarter inch off the floor um, as well in case you get moisture and it, it doesn't, doesn't soak it up um, the stairs were fun no big deal uh, just a little more uh, work there just because it's you know harder to move around in there but no big deal same same process um, and it's kind of fun shooting uh, water in your house uh, w way to clean up the floors right um, most people can't do that so there you go anyway uh, not that we're gonna be hosing the inside of the house later but uh, the offer is there The living area is just uh, just, a, just bigger, uh, one room. Um, I did have to move the hose all the time uh, to get out of the way, but uh, no big deal. Uh, then I have two 100-foot hoses. Um, I don't have any bibs on the house yet, so that's coming. You know, probably next few days, whatever. Um, I've been meaning to do that for a while, but just haven't. Uh, hey, they, they saw me doing the bucket. Um, you did, the time I never didn't get that too often, but anyway, um, just mix it up and uh, start sucking with the shop back everything's good so you see it, the back does extremely well uh, we were quite impressed um, how this one was working we have two other shop backs both rigid they're just smaller capacity and they they did not do a job like this at all so um, anyway it must be uh, the wand and the the hose attachments etc uh, that made this work so good we like So we're almost getting there. Here's the uh, kitchen area. Um, I, you noticed uh, the stain and all that stuff is not right up against the wall. Again, there's cabinets going down there, stove and fridge and all that fun stuff in the island. So I, I always do these last uh, kind of videos near the, the end of the process. So the entryway is the last thing I have to do. Uh, sprayed a bunch of water in there, a little probably over oversaturated with the baking soda. But again, hose some of it out and then I vacuum the rest of it out. And uh, now we know we're, we're getting done. So this is the last little bit, and then we let it dry overnight before we can do any of the, uh, the sealer. So that about it ends this video. Um, thanks for watching the, the vacuum sessions. <laughs> uh, works pretty good. Get one. Later. Bye.